for her to tonight, Lee? Um, yeah, obviously, you know, you're usually disappointed not to be going to a grand final. Her is, I don't think I'm hurt. I am. You know, we we just fell short, um, unfortunately, and and you know I cannot knock the, any of the the seventeen's effort out there tonight. I thought it was phenomenal. You know, I thought Leeds started like an absolute house on fire, and you know it was like a, a smack right between the between the eyes that first thirty minutes. So to hang on in there like we did and show the grit that we did um, to still be in the game was you know when when a lot of other teams would have folded was was outstanding. Um, you know, if I have one gripe about tonight, it's probably the last ten minutes. I just, I just didn't think we constructed our sets well enough in that last five or ten minute period, um, and certainly didn't finish um, the kicks where we'd spoke about finishing the kicks all week. Unfortunately, and you know, ultimately, it just got us. Do you think those final ten minutes was the uh, result of a very physical and demanding season for your side? Um, physical and demanding game. I don't, I don't know about the season. I think you know, energy levels was was very high. Um, in both sides, um, you know, and we went down swinging um, ultimately. So I've got no grapes with that. It just, um, you know, fine margins, and, and you know, you saw that last night, and I think you've seen that again tonight. And you, uh, you know, you had one or two standout performances. I don't know what Chris Green's had replaced his appendix with. I don't know if it's a turbocharger, but he seemed to be in. Uh Particularly good spirits tonight. Yeah, you know, he's, he's how did you Yeah, really well. I thought he carried really, really strong for us. Um, you know, there was plenty of, you know, outstanding performances, um, you know, throughout the seventeen, but like I said, unfortunately we got we got beat by the better team on the night and um, you know, I'd publicly like to, you know, wish Leeds and Castleford all the best next week. I'm sure it'll be a um, a fascinating final. If it's anything if the semis are anything to go by then it's a it's a great advertisement for the game. It certainly is. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. the boys in the change rooms, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you can hear a pin drop in there. Obviously, it's um, as a group collectively, we thought we thought we was going to a grand final. We believed we was going to a grand final. We prepared to go to a grand final. Um, so obviously, just you know, for it not to happen tonight, um, you know, there's there's some um, soul searching going on in there. Sorry, what's Gaz Ellis like, given that he knows he's now played his last game? Um, I don't know, we, we couldn't get him in because the media had swamped him before uh, before the end. So, um, I, I just think that the chase back on Walker epitomises you know, what what he is. Um, he's twice as old as him, twice as slow as him. Um, but he just makes up with everything with so much energy. He had no right to send him back on the inside and he certainly had no right to make the tackle two players later to save the try again. But that's um, that's Gazellis, and he'll be sorely missed on the field. And um, for us, we we've got to um, develop without him. I think next year. In terms of those last ten minutes, do you think we were just chasing the game a bit too long? No, no. I think we ha we had to chase the game. We just didn't chase it smart enough. I, I think what we what we spoke about, what we'd seen in previews of Leeds, how we was going to get them, we probably just didn't quite execute that. And and the kick play, you know, the two at the end. Um, you know, we specifically could give them details of where to finish that kick play, and, and we didn't on either. So, you know, when that happens, and um, you know, you can't question the result. What do you make of the, the last minute thing with Mahe Do you think it's something? Oh, I don't, don't, yeah, don't, 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 don't let an official, t you know, don't let the officials take anything away from um, what's been an, a, an unbelievable, you know, two games over over the last 24 hours, and um, I just I just think you've got four teams there who's give their absolute. All to the cause, and, and two of them go through, and two of them don't. Obviously, it's early. How do you look back on this season? Another great season with a Challenge Cup win, but exactly the same as last season. Challenge Cup sound. winners knocked all the top teams off, and come within two minutes of going to a grand final. Did their start surprise you? Um, yeah, yeah. I knew they front loaded, you know, in the guy, but you know. Is renowned for coming off the bench um, against us, but the, the you know they the started with the big, um, the biggest pack they had. I, I felt so, um, you know, I knew they was going to come out swinging, and, and they did that. But uh, the sustained pressure, um, we just needed to get past that, and, and thankfully, you know, we did. Yeah, he's you know he's got a bit. Um, could complain, you know, again he'll be better. Um, Next year for for the experiences of this season. I love the competition. Yeah, I thought Griffin was outstanding when he came on as well. So um, it's not a bad position to be in. Was that just for two? Yeah, no, his ankle. I think. Yeah. So 
and you know we've carried it back on the bench all year thankfully and when we have we've you know somebody's gone down at some stage so you know it worked out um okay